when you hear that death rattle. It's not just a fight or a battle. Prepare for lots of blood and gore. It's in town with some more bad wars. Welcome to Spin Town, everyone. I recently beat my personal best win streak in Solo Bed Wars, and it was at 29 for a very long time, and I didn't think I'd ever beat it, honestly, because the longer I play, the harder and harder it gets to go on long win streaks. And this may not be long for you, but it's long for me. But, you know, the higher I get on the Stars leaderboard, and the more I play, the more I get recognized. So many overlay users out there anymore that it just gets hard to go on long win streaks because you get targeted a lot. And that obviously wasn't part of the win streak. That was the last game I played before the win streak started. So from here on out, every clip is from the win streak. So when I go on these win streaks, I don't even really pay attention to the win streak until I hit about 20. When I get to 20, then I'm thinking, okay, maybe I have a chance to beat my personal best. But before then, I'm really playing very casual, not really trying any harder than I normally would. Um, I'm still taking a few trick shots here and there, even trying to set up trick shots from time to time. And just, yeah, playing overly aggressive even sometimes than I normally would if I'm really trying to win. Um, but later on, I do play a lot more cautious, and I'm like a lot more focused, uh, hyper-focused on about everything in the game I can be, uh, where everybody is, who's got what, and uh, how long they've been where, that kind of thing. Right now, not really caring about that as much. And when I go on these win streaks, I don't dodge anybody. Like, that guy that just died in front of me there, he's 500-some stars, 586 I think it was. This guy's 794. And... I don't care if they're a high star or if they're a hacker or if I get recognized, I'm not dodging you, even if I'm going on a win streak. And <laughs> I, I think it would be pretty worthless to me personally if I went on a win streak and beat my personal best and I did any of those things. So the fact that I was able to beat my personal best and stay true to what I believe and do in Bed Wars is just as important as the win streak itself. Now, in day two of the win streak, I started off with a couple triple taps and then we ran into a hacker. And he dies pretty easy. And as soon as he dies, uh, I do warn the rest of the people in the game, I always try to if I can, that somebody's hacking, even though it does give away my stars and get me targeted more. But, you know, it's just the right thing to do. And I did kill that hacker again and final him because, you know, he did have some knockback on. It was just a reduced knockback. It wasn't like he was taking none. <laughs> and this clipper here, I like it just because I got yeeted, and while I was midair, I hit the guy twice with the bow. And then same game, this guy is falling and dying, gets double tapped, and he's still shooting at me midair. So I like that philosophy. Like, you're not dead till it says game over. If I'm in the void, I'm still fighting. And I like, I like it when other people do that too. So... In this clip right here, I use this in a TikTok actually. It's just a good example of me tracking somebody in middle. I waited for him to turn that corner just so I could knock him down. I did. And then I got in position to knock him down the stairs. Ding. I did. So I've hit him twice. He's taken fall damage twice. And I look where he's at and where he's going to have to go. He's probably going to go to my base and I know that. So I'm trying to get in position to where I have a shot at that bridge. Sure enough, he goes down that bridge. I get a shot off. And he did. So I do that a lot. Uh, I don't always hit the shots that good, but you know that was a pretty cool clip, to me at least. And that's why I made a TikTok of it earlier. And let's see, just another casual fireball kill. No, nothing all that important there. And what game are we on right here? I don't, have, I don't know the game number of this, but if you listen, yep, you hear that? Somebody's about to invis me, and that's why I don't play with music on or a lot of background noise too often, especially if I'm trying to go on a win streak. Now, it's not all that serious of a win streak quite yet, but it's starting to get there. And let's see. There's another long shot where I don't really get to see where he's at exactly, but hit the shot anyways. 
another kind of casual fireball kill and now I think we get into game number 23 and we run into hacker number two um, this guy he wasn't too bright kind of like the last one <laughs> I pearl into a base give myself time to get a little bit more gear use my emeralds that I had uh, just got and I see that he is either going to bridge to me or he's going to come down that other kind of weird bridge that was made there so we're just going to go ahead and buy our stuff get a fireball and come out here and try to spam him to death and it works because he waits way too long to start eating that gapple of his and he dies from just a little bit of fall damage after i spam him so hacker number two dealt with and we ran into three total during this streak and still one more to go this guy tries to put up a smoke screen it doesn't work all that well because he still dies next we have a 511 star game in this one uh what game was this i don't know we're getting pretty high up there in the win streak uh whatever it was missed the double tap that's annoying uh, let's see this is game 27 so i don't know what that last one was but in this game everybody went mid early and it was very annoying both my neighbors did so i kind of get trapped between them uh, i managed to get by the blue guy here because uh he was a little slow coming up the stairs but then pink guy comes to middle too like really quick so i've only got four emeralds and there's four people in middle and it's just run for your life at this point and this is a perfect example of a game in which it helps to know the map better than everybody else i know where to try to knock people off at I know where I can jump off of and survive, whereas some people might see me jump off and they think, oh, he's dead. I live on two hearts and keep on running. So they'll hesitate before following me and I'm able to get some distance between me and them. Uh, so yeah, it's just all part of game sense and ex it's just experience, knowing the, ga the, the map you're put on. So I highly suggest people just master one map at a time. But I finally do manage to get six emeralds and run into a base and get a bow. And then from then on, I'm able to provide a little bit of offense. And they find that out right here as I turn, eat them into the void. And then I give them some company by sending the blue guy down as well. And he's a final, so. The game became a lot easier at this point. <laughs> a lot less hectic for me. But I think this is game 28 right here. He dodged the first arrow, but then he gets caught. I don't think there's anything else from this game worth showing. Yeah, we go straight to t game 29. And I get recognized right away by a 647 star, and then there's also a 458 star in this game. So I'm thinking, oh great, this is the game I need to win to tie my record, and I get recognized by a high star right off the bat. But I get him on the run, and I yeet him into a hole right here, and he has to pearl into that base in front of him. And I didn't know it, and I don't think he knew it, but the 450 star gray guy was in that base. I don't even realize the gray guy's in that base right now. I'm still looking around trying to figure out where gray guy is, and when I turn back around, I see that there's some action going on over here, and oh shoot, they're both there. So immediately, I want to go get rid of that bridge, and because I, I figure one of them is going to die in this fight, and I want the one that's left alive there to be trapped or... I want him to have to use whatever emeralds he has to get to middle. If he uses them to get to middle, he's not using them to kill me. So you always want to make somebody that you know has emeralds, use those emeralds to get to the middle, if that's where you're going to be. And that's where I'm almost always at. So, yeah. And that yellow guy ended up dying. And at this point, I have no idea how he died. I thought maybe he tried to, like, place a block where he couldn't and he just fell. I don't realize until after the game what happened to him. And it's pretty funny. I'll show you that after this. Um, gray guy ends up just running out of time and needing to go. And him and both the yellow guy were both very cool and chill. Good sports. That's very unlike most of the high stars I run into. So that was nice to see. But let's look at the replay to see how the yellow guy died. He goes up top, runs in the back, and then disappears. And then he reappears in the middle over the hole and dies. So he used that rotating item, the unstable teleporting device, and it killed him, which is funny, but I feel bad for him. Uh, this is game 30, so we ended up getting a pretty easy game that time, and since I won, it's a new personal best, and I made sure to go immediately over here after saying GG and uh, 
check the stats to verify all those wins were in solo. Game number 31 right here again. Wasn't all that stressful. It was a little more stressful than the last one, but I get the win, say GG, and I, again, I got to go to the hub, and we got to verify <laughs> that, yep, got 31, and they're all in solo. I do this like every time I set a personal best on a win streak. Just immediately, hub, check the score, or the leaderboard. Uh, game 32, a lot more stressful trying to get the emeralds. I got chased back in, and I'm having to be very careful not to spam my arrows, because I only had six. So if I spam them and I miss half of them, I'm probably dead in that situation. So you got to try to stay calm. Not always easy to do. I think I have the gray guy dead right here, but it turns out, oh, he's hacking. Here's hacker number three we got to deal with in this win streak. So I call him out for his hacks, and then I report him. And he's like, thanks. He's not even going <laughs> to try to like deny that he's hacking. Um, unfortunately, Hypixel is very slow with banning, so he didn't get kicked from the game. But from this point on, it's just like cat and mouse, cat and mouse. Uh, I'm trying to get emeralds. He's chasing me, and I'm having to use my emeralds to stay away from him. I, every time I get close enough to Pearl to his bed, I don't feel like I have enough time to get out alive, or I don't have the resources to get out alive. This time he's got me trapped with no ender pearl, so I have to bridge egg over him. It works, and it gives me a little more time to run through the middle to get emeralds. But he's getting very close at this point. And when I say close, I mean very close. So I have to try something a little bit different. Bait him into the bridge, put him into the void. And that gives me enough time to go buy a couple more ender pearls. and when he comes back to middle, I'm not going to kill him here and I know it, but I'm just trying to get him a little bit lower before I go into his base right here and break his bed. Because when I break the bed, my plan is to turn around and spam him on that bridge and hopefully get him low enough where he actually dies or to fireball him. But I misscrolled twice. Right here, I overscroll, and I overscroll again, and I get it to this, the bow finally, and I miss the first shot, and I took a second. I should have just went into the void after I missed the first one, and I would have won the game probably. I definitely would have lived that spot, but I would have been in a good enough situation where I would have think I would have won the game, but my mistake, and I lost. And I don't even care that I lost to a hacker, whether it's a hacker or someone playing legit. It doesn't matter. If it ends, it ends, and if you lose, it hurts either way a little bit. But I'm just happy that I beat my personal best. I did it without dodging hackers, high stars, or people that recognize me. So, yeah, I'm happy with the way it ended. Uh, and I just thought I'd make an entire video showing the win streak. So, see y'all next time. Spin out.